Film director Josh Trank first appeared on the scene with the 2012 found footage film Chronicle, which landed him a gig as director for a huge superhero movie production in 2015's Fantastic Four. However, the disastrous ratings and talk of poor behaviour from Trank on set, and after the film's release, including giving his own film a bad review online, saw Trank in need of a comeback movie. That comeback was 2020's Capone, starring Tom Hardy as Al Capone, a mouth-watering prospect. Unfortunately for Trank, the reviews for Capone have been just as bad, some even worse, than that of Fantastic Four, with the most memorable thing about the film being a scene where Al Capone, the legendary and notorious gangster, arguably the most infamous criminal in American history, shits himself. Believe me, I know. I've seen the film, and you can check out my review on the channel. Trank has responded to the negative reviews of his film in an interview with IndieWire, at a time where his film sat at 52% on Rotten Tomatoes, and has since dropped even further. On the movie's reception, Trank said, I don't want to say I'm not surprised. It was hard to tell what the reactions were going to be, because from where I stand, I love the movie deeply. I love the movie so much, I'm so proud of it. There's nothing anybody could tell me about this movie that would make me feel any less of the amount of love that I have for it. The bad reviews on Fantastic Four for me were not talking about anything that I felt a connection to, because it was a lot of stuff that I didn't have anything to do with. The stuff that reviews were talking about was a result of my own work. I wasn't even presented in the film in such a way that I could raise my hand and be like, yeah, I did that. I did it, but I couldn't look at those reviews and hold them up to my face like a mirror. But with the worst reviews of this movie, they do feel like a mirror, but in a way that doesn't make me feel ashamed. It just makes me feel like I'm on the right track with this. I don't know if that sounds smug or anything, but it is a movie that has everything right there for you to see. He's shitting himself. He's mentally deteriorating. It's not pretty. It's an ugly, uncomfortable movie. If that makes you angry, then I guess it worked. That doesn't bother me. I'm not worried about a Rotten Tomatoes percentage or anything. When asked about whether the poor reception of Capone was due to the film or Trank himself, he responded by saying, probably a combination of both. And he went on to say, We're exploring this side of somebody's life that is really uncomfortable. This is not a wish fulfillment gangster movie. There's no glorification of bootlegging and gangster enterprising. This is a film that, in a very ugly way, is deconstructing an iconic masculinity from the moment the movie starts until it ends. Is it hard to watch? I don't know. It's not for me to watch. It's either you get it and you're in for this ride and you're a part of it and you also embrace the fun, crazy schlock factor of it, which is incredibly intentional, or you don't and it bothers you and annoys you, and I'm fine with that. I think there's room for more strange, off-putting films that feel more akin to something you would see in an art gallery that kicks you in the balls a little bit and makes you kind of think. It's okay if you feel offended, that's good. It's good to get that emotion out of people. I don't think those kind of movies have been a part of our conversation recently enough so that a lot of people can really know what they're looking at. There is a whole world of bizarre cinema out there, and I don't think that Capone is the most bizarre out of them all. But we certainly made our choices. We certainly decided to have Tom shit his pants right there, front and centre, twice. There was no confusion on my end as to whether or not people would react to it in a visceral way. So Trank doesn't seem to mind the bad reviews of Capone. In fact, he seems more irritated with the positive ones for his most successful film Chronicle. As he went on to say, I felt like I didn't know who they were applauding, because I didn't feel like what people were reacting to in Chronicle and what they loved about Chronicle were the things that drove me to make Chronicle. A lot of what people were reviewing were the ideas of getting cool superpowers when you were a teenager. The things I was driven to make that movie about were the themes of child abuse, bullying, all of the uncomfortable, painful moments that drove Dane DeHaan's character into a violent, dangerous place. That's the kind of stuff I thought about, and that's what drove me every single day. You know, credit to the guy, he's not hiding behind anyone this time and is accepting responsibility for Capone. I mean, he has to really, because he talks so much about how he had the proper control over the movie before it came out. But his arguments about being okay that the movie made people angry because of seeing things like Capone shitting himself seems like a straw man argument to me. Because people aren't angry, they just found the film boring and unintentionally funny. 
he does come across as giving himself a bit too much credit, really, attempting to curve the narrative into an argument where the main criticisms of the film people have are the elements of the movie that he was going for. And he does come off as having a bit of an inflated ego when he insinuates that some of the criticism of the film is because he directed it. I don't think Trank has anywhere near the level of clout and popularity that he thinks he does. I mean, I didn't watch the film because he directed it. In fact, I haven't seen either Chronicle or Fantastic Four. I watched it because I wanted to see a movie about Al Capone. And I got a weird film where the guy chomps on a carrot, pisses his pants, dresses up as a woman, and yes, as stated, shits himself. Thanks for watching.